High performance displays are displays where there has been a significant change to the backplane technology. Now the backplane is the part of the device that actually drives the pixels, that is it turns the pixels on and off. And in high performance displays what you're trying to do is to make more vivid color, you're trying to create smaller pixels so you can pack more pixels to achieve higher resolution. Also, you're trying to have a faster device that gives a much more compelling video performance. If you look at the high performance display spectrum, it goes from the smallest cell phone to large size 55 inch OLED TVs. And from the cell phone to the TV, they need the same type of high performance backplane and high performance glass to enable either high resolution or OLED or faster response. If you look at traditional liquid crystal displays, they use a technology called ASI or amorphous silicon, and the processing temperatures are fairly moderate. To enable high performance displays, you have to increase the processing temperature to get the benefits of faster transistors and smaller transistors. The reason is you're trying to make the transistors, which are the fundamental building blocks of these displays, smaller and faster. And by doing so, you can have higher resolution displays and brighter displays. So this is requiring a glass that has intrinsic thermal stability. You can't fool Mother Nature. You have to have a glass where its chemistry is intrinsically capable of these high temperatures. The glass has to be more uniform than it's ever had to be before. And this is because in high performance displays, the pixels are smaller and they're using some very large sheets of glass as well, not Gen 8, but approaching Gen 8. And what we're seeing is that the dimensional stability across the entire length of the substrate has to be extremely uniform and extremely predictable. The much higher temperatures means that the old standby, Eagle XG, which is still the state of the art in the um, mainstream LCD, uh, no longer has the sufficient stability at these high temperatures to give the customers the level of uh, performance that they need. For that reason, Corning has had to perfect its already high performance uh, sheet characteristics from our fusion process to a very high level of performance. Corning Lotus Glass is a glass we developed specifically for high performance displays. What we did with Corning Lotus Glass is we modified the composition and the manufacturing process to make it more thermally stable, more dimensionally stable, which enables our customers, the panel makers, to make these high resolution displays. What we're finding now in the high performance display space is the pace of innovation is so fast as people demand more from their mobile devices and their tablets that Corning needs to continue to innovate quickly in the composition space, in the melting platform space, and in the post-processing and finishing space to enable a family of glasses that can keep pace with the demands of high performance displays. The beauty of Corning's manufacturing platform is it's fusion based so we can go from Gen 5 glass to Gen 10 glass and our compositions are scalable as well. So whatever the requirements are in this space of our customers, the panel makers, to satisfy the end market consumer, we have the composition technology and the, the melting platform technology to deliver the full set of solutions.